Good morning to all of you. So, so far in this exercise 20A, we have discussed till question number 7. Okay. Now, let's just see question number 8. So, in question number 8, it is given. that find the area and perimeter of the quadrilateral a b c d okay so this is a quadrilateral and if we see very carefully it consists of a it consists of two triangles a b c d so one triangle is a right angle triangle and another triangle is a simple triangle. So in this it is given that AB is 8 cm, AD is 10 cm, BD is 12 cm and DC is 13 cm. Okay. So in order to find the area and perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD what we will do First, we will find the side which is not given to us. So, in triangle BCD, BC square will be equal to DC square minus BD square by Pythagoras theorem. So, from here we will get DC is 13 square minus 12 square that is, so it will be 25. So that means what is BC? BC will be 5 cm. So finally we got BC also 5 cm. So first of all perimeter. As we already knew that perimeter is sum of all sides. So perimeter of ABCD will be how much? AB plus BC plus CD plus AD that is 8 plus 5 plus 13 plus 10 that will give us 36 centimeter okay so this will be the perimeter next what we have to find we have to find the area of this quadrilateral ABCD so, area of quadrilateral ABCD will be how much? Area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD. Okay, so this quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. So, first of all we will find area of triangle ABD. Now in ABD the three sides are given and all the three sides are different that means it is a scaling triangle. So we will use the Hiram's formula. For that we will find small s will be equal to how much? 10 plus 12 plus 8 upon 2. That is 15 centimeter. So what is area? area will be how much 15 into 15 minus 10 15 minus 12 15 minus 8 so this will be the area so let's solve this square root 15 into 5 into 3 into 7 okay then let's do the prime factorization 5 into 3 into 5 into 3 into 7. So that means we will get 15 root 7 centimeter square. This is the area of triangle ABD. Okay. Next we will find area of triangle BCD 
and since it is a right angle triangle so it will be equal to half BD into BC that is BD is how much 12 into 5 so it will be 30 centimeter square so finally what is our answer our answer will be 15 root 7 plus 30 centimeter square <laughs> Okay, so what will be our answer? 15 root 7 plus 30 centimeter square. So this will be the area of this quadrilateral ABCD. Let's see one more question. Okay, so let's see question number 10. Three parts are there. The sides of triangular field are in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 4 and its perimeter is 180 meter. Find its area. So we will assume let ratio equal to x so sides will be how much 5x 3x 4x okay so we know that perimeter will be how much sum of the sides that is 3x plus 4x plus 5x and it will be equal to how much 180 meter so when we solve it we will get 12x equal to 180 meter that means x is 15 meter so what will be the sides sides will be how much 75 meter 45 meter and 60 meter okay these are the sides now if we see very carefully if we see very carefully these square of these two smaller sides is equal to the okay let's check it is 3x 4x and 5x so if we see carefully 3x whole square plus 4x whole square will be equal to 5x whole square. So we can say that triangle is right angled triangle. Okay, so that means this triangle is a right angle triangle. So for the first part, what will be the area? Area will be half base into height we can use. So base you can take <coughs> either 60 or 45. So it will be 60 into 45. That is 1350 meter square. Okay, so this will be the area. Then second is altitude corresponding to its largest side. So let 
altitude equal to x. So again we will use the area. Area will be equal to half. Largest side is 75 into x. And area we got as 1350. So what will be the x? 1350 into 2 upon 75. So our x will be 36 meter. So this will be the value of altitude 36 meter. In the third part cost of leveling the field so cost of leveling the field so cost per meter is given as rupees 10 so total area we got as 1350 so it will be 1350 into 10 that is 13500 rupees Okay, <clears throat> so one thing that we have learned in this question, if the ratio of sides is given, then you can inspect the sides like this and suppose it comes out to be a right angle triangle, then there is no need to use the Hirons formula. You can simply use the formula area equal to half base into height. So in question number 11, each of equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 4 cm greater than its height. So let equal sides equal to x. So what is given? and height ok let's see one more question question number 11 so in this it is given that each of equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 4 cm greater than its height so we will assume let height equal to x so what will be the value of sides so equal sides becomes x plus 5, <coughs> x plus 4, 4 centimeter greater. If base is 24 centimeter, so base is given as 24 centimeter. Calculate the perimeter and area of the triangle. So again we know that we know that perimeter of any triangle is sum of its all sides so if we draw a small diagram suppose I am constructing a isosceles triangle let it be A, B, C so this height is given as X and this equal sides let A B equal to A C and AD is perpendicular to BC. So we know that in case of isosceles triangle, if the perpendicular is dropped on the unequal side, it will bisect the sides. That means it is it becomes 12 and 12. So BD will be equal to DC will be equal to 12 centimeter. And this one of the side is X plus 4 that we know. So we use in triangle ADC AC square equal to AD square plus DC square again we will use the Pythagoras theorem so what is AC X plus 4 what is AD X square this is 12 square 
प्लस एट एक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन वन फोर्टी फोर तो फाइनली वॉट इज एट एक्स वन फोर्टी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी एट सो एक्स विल बी वन ट्वेंटी एट बाई एट सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नो वॉट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द पेरीमीटर सो दैट मीन्स इक्वल साइड्स विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच सिक्सटीन प्लस फोर दैट इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर सो फर्स्ट पार्ट पेरीमीटर सो पेरीमीटर इज ट्वेंटी सिंस इट इज इक्वल इक्वल साइड्स ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी एंड बेस इज गिवेन एज ट्वेंटी फोर सो इट इज सिक्सटी फोर सेंटीमीटर सेकेंड इज एरिया सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एरिया बाय दैट फॉर्मला ओनली हाफ बेस इंटू हाइट सो बेस इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड हाइट वी हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड वॉट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड हाइट एज सिक्सटीन सो वी विल यूज सिक्सटीन वन नाइंटी टू सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर okay so what we have learned in this question that per that the height is given the base equal sides are given in terms of the height so we have constructed a triangle then we have dropped the perpendicular then we have used the property of isosceles triangle and we found out the value of x from this x we found out the value of equal sides also Let's see one more problem. Question number fourteen. If the difference between the sides of a right angle triangle is three centimeter, that is, suppose this is A and this is B, so it is given that A minus B is equals to three centimeter, and its area is fifty four centimeter square. So what will be the area? Half A into B. and it is given as 54 so from here we will get ab equal to 108 okay now we have two equations a minus b equal to 3 and ab equal to 108 find its perimeter so in order to find the perimeter again we need all the sides that is we need the value of a and b and if we got the value of a and b then we can easily calculate this hypotenuse so for finding a and b what i will do i will use the concept of expansion that we have studied that is a plus b whole square is equal to a minus b Whole square plus four ab. <coughs> That is three square plus four into one zero eight. So we got nine plus four thirty two. That is four four one. So what is a plus b? And we will take only positive value, so a plus b will be, will be equal to twenty one. So let this is our first equation. Let this is our third equation, and we will pick this equation a minus b equal to three. Now we will solve these equations by the simultaneous linear equation method. So when we solve, 
दिस विल कैंसिल यू गेट टू ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर और ए इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ओके देन वी विल पुट वैल्यू ऑफ ए इन आइदर ऑफ द वी हैव थ्री इक्वेशन नाउ वन टू थ्री सो यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ द थ्री इक्वेशन सपोज वी पुट इन फर्स्ट सो वी विल गॉट ट्वेल्व माइनस बी इक्वल टू थ्री दैट इज बी इक्वल टू नाइन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो दिस वी गॉट इज नाइन एंड दिस वी गॉट एज ट्वेल्व नाउ वी विल यूज द पाइथागोरस थियोर सो एच स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन स्क्वायर दैट इज एट्टी वन दैट इज टू टू फाइव सो वॉट विल बी द एच टू टू फाइव एंड वी विल टेक द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ओनली सो दिस इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो नाउ वी हैव ऑल द थ्री साइड्स नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द पैरीमीटर सो पैरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व प्लस नाइन प्लस फिफ्टीन दैट इज थर्टी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ओके सो दिस विल बी अवर आंसर so that's the end of this exercise next we will discuss area and perimeter of the quadrilaterals thank you